This is the Xiaomi 12T and in this video we would like to share the top 5 pro tips and features for this device. So to start off I would like to show how you can enroll the fingerprint and use your uh, fingerprint as the screen unlock method. So launch settings, enter the password and security category over here, then tap on the fingerprint unlock section or field. Well, this transparent rectangular over here. Oh, it's not transparent, my bad. Uh, to start off, uh, the system asks uh, you to choose what uh, backup screen lock method you would like to go with. So the options are pattern, pin, or password. I'll go with pattern. Then draw the pattern that you would like to use, and after that, simply confirm it. Now we can start adding the fingerprint. Uh, it is a very simple uh, process to do. Just lay it onto the scanner that is located uh, underneath the display at the well bottom part of your screen. So lay and lift. Don't be afraid to apply a slight pressure. You can also, I mean, you gotta also rotate the fingerprint a little bit in order to make sure that it uh, its entire surface will be scanned. So lay and lift the finger onto the sensor and wait until the scanning and or adding process is finished. As you can see, uh, great success. I can now lock my screen and see that uh, now it requires my fingerprint or the pattern uh, to be unlocked. So let me just quickly test out how well the sensor works. And as I've expected, it works flawlessly. The next feature uh, that they wanted to review in this or show you, should I say, in this video is the AOD, always on display. In order to turn it on, enter the uh, respective category of settings that is called always on display and lock screen and go for the always on display section, switch on this toggle. And now you can choose the display mode for it. Uh, it can either be shown only 10 seconds after you tap the screen, can be permanently visible, or you can also set some custom schedule for it to be automatically turned on and turned off respectively. You can also choose the design for it, so set it to be some custom text, analog clock, kaleidoscope, uh, image, digital clock, or some cool image, or some cool background image the system provides you with. You can also set some custom image if you want to, which I'll personally do. So, uh, as you can see, the AOD can be customized to a very high extent. So let's start with adding the custom picture. Like, I don't know, I do not have many to choose from in my gallery, so I'll go with this one. Then choose the text color that you would like to see. I'll go with, let's say, orange. Then choose uh, the position and the alignment of the uh, well, metric over the data that is shown at the always on display or even disable the clock in general I'll set it to be like so then choose which items you want to display uh, like battery notifications you can switch them on or off I'll set uh, set it to show all the possible data so I'll leave those active then if you would like to set the AOD finally just tap on the apply button and now if I lock my screen I'll be able to see the AOD that I have just customized and turned on. Already the next thing for today is located at the display category of settings which I'll enter now. It is called the refresh rate, two values to choose from, 60 and 120 Hz. Long story short, 60 Hz will get you longer uh, battery, battery hours and 120 Hz uh, provides you with smoother and silkier animations and visual design, uh, not design, visual uh, experience probably, uh, should I say. You can either uh, manually change this value or set it to be default, thus automatic, and the system will automatically switch between those two values uh, well, in accordance with uh, which value is the best for any given moment. I'll personally set it to be 120 manually 
And moving on to the next feature that we wanted to highlight today, that is located at the um, special features category. It is called the heart rate. And uh, this feature provides you with an opportunity to measure your pulse, thus the heart rate, uh, by laying your finger onto the fingerprint scanner. So lay it uh, onto the sensor, uh, wait until this countdown finishes over here, and the uh, system will provide you with the bits per minute of as per the heart rate that you have. Already minus 80. So moving on to the fifth and final feature slash tip slash trick uh, for today's video that you can uh, look up at the additional settings category over here. It is called the memory extension and it provides you with an opportunity to uh, increase the RAM amounts you have by 3 gigabytes by occupying the respective uh, storage amounts of your ROM, ROM. So it is, in my case, it is actually enabled, so I do not need to do that, but uh, it is a very, very simple thing to do. If in your case this little toggle is gray, which means that the memory extension feature is switched off, you gotta tap on this uh, switch toggle, then this little dialog window appears that says that you gotta reboot your system to apply the changes, you just reboot the phone. And the and after the phone is restarted, you'll get additional three gigabytes of random access memory. Alrighty, so that would be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for much, so much for your attention. If you have any questions, suggestions, uh, or want to, well, just say anything, don't forget to leave a comment below. And bye-bye.